Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today, it's been about a month since the last time I, re I recorded, uh, in game time that is, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull off a mission today. So between um, then and now, I ran the um, main lance once, but we ended up encountering an awful lot of vehicles. It was just a, a mission with seven vehicles. And here's some highlights of that mission. See what we're up against here. Alicorn, three Goss Rifles, Pirate, and another one. Oh, crap. Excellent. Where's that coming from? Wow. And fire. Roger. We can cut the Gauss rifles in half. That'll be good. Yeah, that that yeah that works. So hopefully that all corner will move forward. Oh, magnets. Hello there. Nope, but he's definitely moving within pylon range. Ooh, one hit. It's not hitting the side we want, but uh, only hit hitting the side we can. Hit the front, please. Nope. A, B. Let's put these two on A and everything else to B. Whoops. I meant to put. Oh, I did it backwards. It doesn't matter though. I think we got him. Nope. Crap. I meant to do it the other way. It's not a mech, man. It's a vehicle. Come on. Yes. See if we can finish this guy up. Fire. Okay. I'm on it. There we go. Good work, everybody. So as you can see, it really wasn't that much of a challenge. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the command center. We've uh, we moved from Dustball to a uh, different planet. We came back here, and we're going to look at the contracts. Now we've got, I've been, uh, changed the contracts so that there's a, a uh, let's see here, let's go to the settings, there's a f um, difficulty variance of five, which is two and a half skulls, so depending on our lance, main lance strength, there'll be a two and a half skull var variance of, um, of uh, missions, so you can see right now we've got the lowest mission is, uh, uh, one and a half skulls. It might actually end up going lower than this. I'm not really sure what our lance uh, tonnage is. We'll find out here in a second. But we're going to take this hostile insertion mess, uh, mess, um, mission today. Um, sorry, I'm just really tired right now, so I'm having a hard time with my words. Uh, but um, it's a uh, heavy pirate lance that's uh, on the surface. So we're going to drop down and take these guys on. So let's negotiate this. We're going to go for full salvage since we're pretty good. We sold a lot of those things that we picked up in the last mission against the vehicles. So like the, all the pirate Goss rifles and stuff, we got rid of all those. So we, we've got some good cash before the end of the month. So we're okay there. And as you can see, our main lance is ready to go. Now the only difference is in the mechs from the last mission is... Um, we have a medium laser double plus now that we've added to the Phoenix Hawk, which is great, gives an extra plus 10 damage. And then in the Zeus, we weren't originally able to put a, uh, in the right arm, a uh, lower arm actuator, but we do have one now, which we have uh, taken out of the Bushwhacker because we didn't need anything. We don't have anything in the right arm, so it's not a big deal. Um, so we added into here so those ATMs have a better chance to hit. So we're going to deploy this and get it done. Oh, great. Uh, I hate this valley. There's like nowhere to maneuver in here. So, how much... And they've got two lances. So they've got a lance of supporting vehicles. How far back can we go? 
Ah, oh, we can move back if we have to, so we're okay. Um, so I found out, um, let's just reserve. I found out what the, um, the, um, advanced electronics, uh, quirk is for the Zeus. Now, originally I believe it was supposed to be in the Zeus C, but it is in the Zeus X, and it gives you precision strike. Now, I couldn't find any information on that particular skill. Um, I think, though, it just gives you a bonus to hit. Can't, uh, I can't tell you what that bonus might be, but I'm assuming that that's what it's doing. Um, it's hard to really tell, though. So, um, let's do this. Yeah, it's not... Let's go this way. Um, so, I can't really uh, comment on that. Phoenix Hawk 1D. Yeah, let's just open up on this guy. Well, at least we hit the with the large this time. Normally we miss with that. 95 tonner. Banshee. Well, he did say it was a heavy mech, so let's see if we can get rid of this uh, Phoenix Hawk here right off the top. So let's move in here. Battlemaster. Wow, okay, so this is they got a lot of good stuff here. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be this guy. Yeah, let's fire everything straight on him. Hopefully we can pull him out of the battle this first turn. I don't think I brought enough ammo with the AC-20. Six. What was that? I should have been watching. Damn it. 100 ton. Yep. I got a feeling we're pulling out of here. But we'll see what happens. Let's try to inflict as much damage as we can here early on. So let's move into here. Uh, we want to turn the right side because that's the side with nothing on it. Copy that. Let's fire everything on this guy. Okay, he's tagged. I'm just concerned we just don't have enough ammo. Gonna have to rely on a lot of back strikes, I'm thinking. Good to go. Um Okay, so we can't melee this guy, but we can get into here. Acknowledged. Um, I'm going to hold off on the boomstick. I got a feeling we might need that later. Just fire the mediums. Tagged him. Okay, so he's got two on him. What's he got, what do we got back here? An annihilator. Oh, look at that. Four LB10Xs. Isn't that lovely? Jesus Christ. All right. Um... How aggressive do we want to be, guys? <sighs> okay, here's the thing. We could take the chance. We can run recoil into here. Get a back shot on this guy. And then bring in Pylon and punch this guy in the back. But then we're opening ourselves up to the Annihilator, which might be a good thing, uh, because these guys will have lots of... Yeah, you know what? These guys are going to have lots of uh, evasion. Oh, if we do that, we're going to be blocking... Um, we'll be blocking Pylon here. We can only move to get eyes on. We can't shoot him in the back. Uh, let's do that. Bustana. What's this guy's... Oh, oh my god, this guy's a melee guy. Holy crap. Uh, that's not good. Okay, dump everything into this guy. We need a, we need a kill here. 
Okay, he's down to a medium laser. Chariot. 10 tons? Is that it? 50 tons. Okay. What's up, boss? You know the deal, buddy. Let's do this. <gasps> I forgot to turn the boomstick on. Pew. Damn it. That was a huge mistake. I'm really hoping that uh, my evasion carries the day with this guy, because uh, it, otherwise it's going to get really nasty. Uh, I need you to move back. Uh, that's what I need. Um, keep the right side turned if we can, please. Nice. Okay, everything on this guy. we got to get rid of this guy. All weapons. Come on, torso. Damn it. Yeah, we gotta lose those LRMs, I think. Unless we're doing more stability damage, there's just no point. Really? Well, smart move. Only 26, though. Okay. We have to move. We got no choice. Fifty seven. Doesn't look like he's got any case, guys. He's got an engine and a torso. He's still got like... God damn. XL engine too, right? Um... What do you got for back armor? Nothing. All right. Let's start this way. Uh, we need to save the ammo for the big boys. So let's do that. And we're going to fire the two heavy mediums into this guy's back. Goes his left arm. That figures. God. Okay, you're not meleeing. Um. Sure. I'll take it. Yeah, this guy's coming in for the shots, though. Pretty darn accurate. This is three skulls too, man. Although it did say really high tonnage pirate lance, so... Or heavy lance, whatever you want to call it. So I should have known better. This guy's blocking my escape route, though. Yeah, we're still doing okay. They're splashing away, but we're still doing okay here. I don't feel too bad about that. Um, Receiving you. So I can't move back. I mean, I'd love to be able to melee that guy. Could squash this guy. Like if we move into here.
I mean, we could do it. We could do the vehicle squash with this guy. And just have him go one after the other. Because these guys can't move that fast. Let's take it. Don't think we got enough chevrons of evasion, though. Uh, we're gonna have to engage these other guys for sure, then. Reporting. One less vehicle. Oh. Okay, multi-target coming up. Here and here. Yeah, let's fire. Confirmed. Okay, we don't have to worry about that guy now. That's a Saladin. Okay, we got him too. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Um, yes, come in. Bust um, the We engage the battle master. What does the battle master have anyway? MMLs, light gauss rifle, light PPCs, ER mediums. He is out by himself though. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. He's out here by himself, so let's engage. Are you serious? Can't miss with that large, buddy. Just can't do it. Wow, 20 heat. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. He's in stepping range next turn, but I don't think we're gonna have enough to kill him unless we get his backside. Which I think we probably should be able to do. Um, if we survive, that is. Um, time to engage this Annihilator. Uh, we can't get close to the Banshee. Although... Pretty good chances to hit there. Let's take it. Let's push this battle master a bit. So let's do warlord and attack the battle master. Firing. Okay, lots of damage on this guy. Okay. Oh, he didn't move. Well, well, well. Uh-oh. This guy's going to melee now. I didn't think he had the speed. You better miss. Oh, no. Twenty-one. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, no, I, I see that. Shoot, this guy's just going to shoot at point blank. Nope. Okay. Damn it. My armor's getting stripped off. Yeah, I see that. <sighs> We're gonna vigilance. Get the hell out of there. The guy's got some speed. Um What's up, Commander? Could go for the leg. 42% chance. Thinking we should try it. Okay. 
And let's get back into the trees here. And just keep our left side turned. Damn it, there goes the left side. I'm losing weapon systems. Yeah. You're going down too, that's more what I'm concerned about. How <sighs> much armor does this guy have? I guess we can't tell. What do you need? Lost their eyes. Oh man. Got it. No shooting, just running. Firing everything. I'm taking the shot. Wow, three medium laser misses. Okay, finally got leg structure exposed. Here comes the big uh, weapon shots. Nope. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, how are we doing here? Not so good, eh? Stability, Commander. Um. Acknowledged. I wanted to go after that vehicle, but after seeing how far that uh, Banshee can move, there's just no way. Gonna have to pick our moments, I think. Um. Let's get our stability back that way. Uh, we don't have enough for precision strike, so we're just gonna fire on this guy. Let's hope we get that leg. Okay. Wow, he's pretty darn accurate. Yeah, the lerms in this bushwhacker just aren't going to cut it. There's just no way. We need heavy firepower for missions like this. Unless they have dead fire ammo, there's just no... like. There's nothing, you can't really do anything with them. Okay, pylon. Just get back here for now, buddy. Um, On my way. We're going to have use of you soon enough, but let's just get back here. Just pew this guy. Um, let's just tag him. We've lost all our heat sinking pretty much, so... Good thing we got a, a uh, extra boomstick. Something I can do. We got enough for precision strike now, so let's move into here. And we're going to take it. Good chances. 94 in the CT. We're just going to CT this guy. 27%, 73% chance to hit, eh? Well, if he goes down, we'll be able to kill him. So let's just do that. Is that enough? Are you kidding me? I guess we hit the arm. Get up here. Dump everything into this guy. Okay, he's going down. Oh, yeah. Nope, he's bailing out. Even better. Okay. 
then there's four. Question is, what do we do? Let's hope they go different sides here. I think the Banshee's the biggest threat right now. They're going the same side. Ready for so, we go the other side. Double time. Let's go. We gotta try and split them up. And we gotta kill these vehicles really badly, so... What is it with pylon and those laser weapons? You just can't hit a goddamn thing. Sorry, recoil in the laser weapons, not pylon. Yep. Um It's all gonna be indirect, eh? Okay, well, let's fire him. We're running out of ammo. Yes, Commander. No shooting, just running. Ah, wow, he's overheating like crazy. It's because we lost part of the engine. <sighs> he's going to have enough room to attack me if I, no matter where I move here, if I move over to attack him, He's going to be able to see me. Yeah. I'm just wondering how much damage I'm willing to incur here. We're already at a loss, so... Um, Banshee... He's got a spiked helmet. He's got a ton of armor. We have to get him from behind. Should we try the offensive push on his head? Sure. Wow. That was a torso hit, okay. All right. Yeah, thanks for that. I know. Wait a minute.
I don't know. Let's save the offensive push when we have better numbers. Let's just fire on this guy's backside and hope we get lucky. Oh, yeah. Okay, that should take him out, right? No? Thought he had an XL engine. Thought he had an XL engine. Oh, he's got a light engine. Pirate engine. Okay, never mind. What do you need? I need you to continue killing this guy, please. Uh, but let's not get too close. Yeah, fire everything. Holding for tactical advantage. Uh good to go. Let's reserve again. If he doesn't need to move, he's not going to move. Ah, here comes the mealy ass. Yeah, a lot of his big stuff is gone, though. Yeah, I know. I know the armor's low. It's going to be low for the rest of the battle. Definitely gonna take it. Uh, we're just gonna. F well, I don't know. Just go right for the CT. Nice. Problem one solved. Nice. Good to go. All on air. It's all or nothing, guys. All or nothing. He does have an XL engine. 65 for the CT. 62 for the... Uh, I'm going to go over the 62. Got the a. Take the shot. Nicely done. Report critical hit. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we got a lock on a target on him. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's reserve. Nice. 
I hate this map because it's so restrictive. This uh, hill here in the center has pretty much saved our lives. So let's... Um, yep, all or nothing, guys. All or nothing. Let's hope we get him. Oh my god, yes. Enemy mech destroyed. Standing by. Um Dad, yeah, don't move until we need you. Okay, nice. Warning. Armor low. Yep. Okay, we need on this guy here. Um, Rhino's only got 200 armor at the back. Order. Recoil is pretty much taken on the roll that Pylon had before. Um, yeah, let's hope we do well here. It's all indirect, eh? Roger. Thunderbolt 15 is out of ammo. Medium rifles do like a fair bit of damage. 42. It's the same either way. We can probably kill this guy this turn. Let's weaken him up a little bit. Okay. Holding for the right opportunity. Good thing we're close to that guy. Got to get my stability back. Firing on this guy straight out. We got four AC rounds left. That should do it. Yep. Okay. Enemy unit destroyed. Ready for orders. Taking a huge risk here, but we got to do it. He's going to have two attacks before the other guy. Locked on for physical attack. 134. Nice. Tagged him. Receiving you. Um, still have a chance to hit that side if I go, go back here. Let's just stay on the side though and attack. On my way. Nicely done. Okay, it's into internal structure. And fire everything. There it is, folks. Good recovery. Good solid recovery on that one. We lost a lot, though. So I think the big fail in this mission was the Bushwhacker. It's not Hickory's fault. It's the way the mech is laid out. So that's going to have to definitely be revamped. And this guy is going to need a lot of repairs. Oh. Boomstick, we got a replacement. Spike Fist, I think we still have a replacement for that. Engine will be fixed with the CT, so that's not bad. No crits here, none there, and none there. So we did really well. So now we have to decide. I guess we can't take any mech parts since we haven't faced any of these guys yet. So, oh, well, we can't complete this guy. So let's decide what we're going to take now. We can take some ER mediums. That'll be 10x. Light PPCs. We've got the range, but really lousy damage. MML 7s. Uh, 
use LRM and able to use special ammo and TTS. Hmm. Thunderbolt 15. We could put, we've got one of these now, right? We've got two, so we don't need another one. I was going to say we could put, we could use two of these instead of the uh, LRMs, which I think is probably better on the Bushwhacker. So endo composite, minus 25% structure weight. Light engines, nice. Exchanger, definitely going to take that. Big fusion core, that's a lot of cash. Two XL gyros. Spiked leg, leg boots. Melee accuracy. Spike fist, which I think, yeah, we've got one still. Stealth, okay, let's take that. TTS indirect, we don't really need that. Um, I don't know if we want this. Do we have, we've got these, I think, on our on our one mech. Plus five additional base melee damage. That's pretty good for a melee mech. Um, XL gyro, eh. Did we go for cash, though? I mean, we took significant amount of damage here. The light engine's the other possibility. Uh... Hmm. We're out of gyros. I know that for sure. Let's go for cash. We're going to need it. Definitely going to need it. Yeah, let's confirm that. All right, Annihilator part, Phoenix Hawk part. ER medium, light PPC, medium laser, two, well, don't get the Thunderbolt. Uh, we got, we did get an XL gyro, good. Spiked helmet, which is excellent. Oh, melee damage bonus. And yeah, that's about it. So 10 million C-bills, pretty good overall. Yeah, 260,000 in repairs. Good thing we took that engine. Yeah, get started. So we, we broke even on that. Pretty much. Let's have a look here, managing the tasks. Uh, let's bring the Zeus into up here. Bushwhacker we want back earlier because we want to refit that. So yeah, let's actually just quickly do that. So let's go two days. And a Bushwhacker should be back now. Yep. So let's have a look at it. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with the way that... Uh, that played out but I think in the heavier aspect unless you've got like a crap ton of missile launchers with dead fire ammo and bonus damage on the missile launchers I don't think these are really the way to go so let's pull these out uh, LRM ammo and let's go to now we're gonna be overweight that's okay um, we could put a thermal bolt in too Plus one accuracy, heat sink efficient is reduced by 15 for four turns. Does 15 damage and 30 heat damage. Uh, so we need two Thunderbolts. And I'm thinking the NARC can come out because we don't have any ammo for it. Let's pull the medium lasers out for now. So this is 30 heat. Heat sinking is ridiculous now, right? Yeah. So let's pull these guys out. We don't need them either. So these take AC 10 ammo. Uh, that's the thermal bolt. We want the thunderbolt. Uh, thunderbolt, here we go. Now, can the thunderbolts be... Missile launcher, so it should be a like Artemis should affect that, correct? Plus two accuracy with missile weapons. So this is technically a missile weapon. 
Yeah, considered a lerm, so yeah, that should work with it. Okay, cool. We definitely need that. Um, so let's then, got five tons left over. We need ammo here, so let's first of all, oh, wait a minute. First of all, let's go grab that gyro that we just picked up. I knew we needed gyros. Uh, where is it here? wonder if we should add this to... Actually, I want to move the arm on... Well, let's leave it there. Uh, where are we here? Sorry, I need the gyro. Where the hell is the gyro? XL, here we go. Let's drop that in. It's going to save a little bit of weight, because what I want to do is... Um, AC 10. 1, 2... Three tons, that's 12 turns of firing. That should probably be fine. And then, what do we got left? Uh, can we add Heavy Pharaoh instead? We can. Okay. And then let's pull a tad bit of back armor off. Like so. Keep it, well, let's not do that way. Let's do it this way. Okay, and because what I want to do is do what I originally thought, and that was to add the ER large laser as well. Put it on this side. So our heat sinking is at Alpha Strike 69, heat sinking 60. Not bad. I mean, we'll be doing mostly indirect fire or long range fire with that. This is just to, uh, to help out a bit. Although we could go with. If we go with an ER medium, it's going to reduce the heat by 20. We got... Hmm. Two hundred twenty meters. ER medium's got what distance here? Four hundred and fifty. That's not bad. Sort of a medium. Re you know what though? I really like the idea of this guy just being able to stand back and shoot from a distance with super good accuracy. I actually want the AC-10 on this ammo on this side because we're going to protect this side. Um, so let's go this route. I like the idea of having these two 60 point damage punching long range weapons that we can just shoot from distances and the 50 extra 50 damage won't, won't hurt either. Plus one accuracy for the laser weapon, plus one for being in the arm. So that's kind of good overall. So let's confirm this. Okay, and then I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, Shadowhawk, let's re. How long is it going to. What's it going to take to fix this guy? I want to get this guy into service. We can pull the Wrecking Ball Spider out of service if we put this guy in. 189,000. Let's strip everything off. And if we max out the armor, that's a long time. But let's do it. Let's confirm it. We got to get this thing running, so let's get that going. And then before we go, let's go to the store. We're going to sell uh, that engine that we picked up. I don't know if there's anything else that we can really sell. Um, Pirate Flamer. One recoil minus one accuracy. Does good. Well, let's just sell it for now. Uh, if we get the, we get more in the future, we might use it. Light PPC, 35 damage for 25 heat, three tons. Let's get rid of that. What else do we have here? We can dump. Let's hang on to the medium pulses. I got a feeling we're going to be using those in the future. Um, periphery rifle. We might end up using that somewhere along the line. I, it's unlikely we might. Rocket launchers. We're definitely not going to be using rocket launchers. Uh, what else do we have here? Hanging on to all these guys. Ultra 5. We've got to put that in something soon. Composite Endo Steel. Where's that big engine that we picked up? The 340. We could sell the 400. I mean, when's the next time we're going to... Well, that's what, two... Yeah, but when's the next time... Well, I mean... Let's hang on to it. 
I mean, we get we, we may get more of these in the future, but right now, we don't really have uh, that many big engines. So let's just hold them just in case. So let's sell this guy as well. So we had a couple duplicates that we could just sell off. 240, let's sell that. 180, we got an extra 180. Okay, that's pretty good. We're 1.5 million now. So let's go and we still got nine days to the financial report. We might be able to pull out that one of the, one of the other. Well, maybe not. They are three skull missions, so probably not going to be able to pull those off. Um, just manage the tasks here. So we'll bring back in 20. Bushwhacker and Phoenix Hawk back in 13 total. Zeus back in 15. Um, so we're going to be going into the next month. So we're going to have to keep some enough for a financial report. So we got about a million to play with. Let's look at the engineering, see what else we can get for upgrades here. Uh, what else do we have here? Machine machine shop. 15 days, that's not bad. Recreation. Plus two morale, plus one tech points for 450,000. Not a bad idea. Power systems. 720 for two tech points. Drive system. 360,000, not bad. We need. We said we needed to get the beta pod, another habitat pod up and running, but that's just too much at the moment. Yeah. Let's go with the drive system. It'll save us time overall. And give us that plus one tech point that pretty much everything else is giving us and give us in 10 days. It's the cheapest right now. So let's go that route. All right, cool. So I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys liked it, uh, drop a like down below. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Like I said, I've said in the past, um, I try to put up three episodes a day uh, right now. Uh, two Cold Forged and one Funky Steve's Medina's. Uh, Cold Forged is still the older version of Rotec, but Funky Steve's Medina is the newer version. Um, so yeah, you know, um, feel free to subscribe to get that good content coming out. And... Um, if you haven't commented, please leave a comment down below. I love comments. Uh, I, I do answer all the comments. So, um, yeah, until next time, we'll see everybody later.